been a minute since I've uploaded to this channel, a little over 43,800 minutes to be exact, because that's how many minutes are in a month. And I haven't uploaded in all of 2019. We're over one month into 2019, and this is my first video. So I apologize for the lack of content on this channel. If you want to keep up with me on the daily, I live stream almost daily at b.gg slash nobody epic link in the description. My Discord's in the description. My Twitter's in the description. There's multiple places you can find me when I'm not here in this space. I've said this before, but I aspire for my content to be quality over quantity, which is tough to do on the daily YouTube grind. And I'm envious of YouTubers that have near great ideas on a seemingly daily basis. That's not where I'm at at this point in my life. I hope to be there soon. And I wanted my first video of 2019 to mean something to me. I didn't just want it to be some random video I'm throwing up on whatever day it is. I want this year, I want this to be a great year. My daughter's gonna be born this year. I am in the last full year of my 20s. I'm hoping for a great year and I'm hoping for some quality content to come out of this thing in my head and trying new things, trial and error. That's what I want. And this is gonna be my first video of 2019, a video where I'm showing you guys something that I am very happy with and very excited about. You may notice it's a little echoey in here because we are in my daughter's nursery and there's nothing in it except for paint because we painted it. So I'm gonna be showing you what, Jesus Finn, I'm, I'm talking to this thing. I'm this, there's people here. Finn and I will be showing you a little bit of the, the nursery and giving you a preview of what it's gonna look like when it's done. So let's do that now. Let's move this camera to over here so you can see the paint job. So don't throw up. Woo! So this wall behind me, well, let me just get out of the frame so I can kind of discuss it from the left side of the camera. Uh, this wall, is going to be where the crib is. We're gonna have a crib right here, and then we're gonna have my daughter's initials on, which I, th I think this one, this, this stripe right here. This is, there's four apricot slash coral stripes. That's the color we picked out. So we have a light silver and a coral. The entire room is light silver, and then there's four coral stripes on this wall. And my parents helped paint 95% of this because they raised a son who prefers writing poetry over doing <laughs> housework. Actually, I don't even really write poetry that much anymore. Uh, I only cry twice a week, so I'm a man now. Yeah. So we're gonna have the crib here and initials here. There's some cool picture frame. I, I kind of want to add in some light green touches. So we got a little coral and mint action. That seems like a cool color scheme that I've seen on Etsy. Man, I do 25 push-ups a day, by the way, I know. Let me turn the camera a little bit. I'm gonna have the dresser over here-ish. Uh, there's a window here, and then we're gonna have, this will be a rocking chair once my daughter actually moves into this room. So she will be with us in our room for the first few months of her life. So that's the plan. You guys are seeing what it looks like in the early stages. Oh, I did want to mention this was kind of a fun do-it-yourself project. Do you guys ever do it yourself? So we painted the walls obviously and the baseboard was already painted as you can see right here. You know, painted white. We painted the trim around the doors white too. Eventually this will be replaced because obviously that door doesn't look good. The house is kind of a strange mixture right now of old and new. It was built not too long ago, but it's it has some older qualities to it, like the spackle ceiling that is a, a little difficult to replace. I, let me move you guys back towards the window so I can have some good natural light on my face. Oh, look at that. Okay. Jeez, Joel, I'm, I'm shaky. So eventually we plan to replace the doors and have more white around the house because it's more of a modern look. It's kind of strange. Some areas of the house, there's white doors with brown trim and some areas of the house like this, there's brown doors with white trim. It's in a transitional phase, this home. I love this home. Hope to grow into it. Hope to continue to update it. That's how I know I'm getting old. I'm thinking of getting a tool bench. I want a grill. I want a tool bench. I like doing stuff around the house. I think that'd be a good thing to film when I'm doing some projects around the house that I want to share with you guys. 
recipes I'm interested in, coffee. It doesn't just have to be all games. I mean, I do play games on my live stream and I play a game that is not as popular as I hoped it would be. I play Black Ops 4 on a pretty routine basis. Hoping to have some more games come out this week and this month. There's one game I wanted to try out, uh, a web browser game I wanted to try out on my channel this week. And Resident Evil 2 came out. I'm interested in scary games. I, I don't know if I want to put 20 hours into something right now. It's like when your friend tells you about a Netflix series, the first question is, so how many episodes is it? How long is it? You, what, what kind of time investment is this? Well, Resident Evil 2 is 20 hours. It's like, oh, man, I, I haven't finished Red Dead 2 yet. It's 60 hours. Boom, 60 hours. Oh my God. I can't look at my phone for 60 hours. I mean, you don't have to play it straight through, but wow, man. How are you guys, by the way? Let me know in the comments below. How's the year going so far? It's very cold in the Midwest. I experienced the coldest temperature of my life this past week, negative 46 degrees with wind chill, which is the coldest temperature on record in Michigan since 1985. I was born in 1990, so a new record for your boy. It was very cold. I was a little frightened by how cold, when the wind hurts you, when the outside air that you breathe in to live hurts you, that doesn't feel good, but I do still love this state regardless. And my family's doing good. Megan entered her third trimester of pregnancy this past week. For those of you playing along at home, that is the final trimester of pregnancy because try is three, like the number of viewers I still have. But we're really excited. And I was taking some third trimester pictures for Megan. I took the best picture I have ever taken of Megan and Finn together. She didn't want me to share it on social media because, you know, she's shy, you know, you know ladies can be like that. Uh, but I was like, please, Megan, just let me, let me share this in a public forum. It's the best picture ever. So here is, and she allowed me to do that, by the way. She was like, all right, fine, you know, you, you love the picture so much. Here is a picture of Megan and this guy, Finn, who wanted to show off for the camera. Take a look. Look at this dude with his tongue out. Like he's Michael Jordan or an Instagram model. So cool with the, the tongue flex. That's, 2019 is the year of the tongue flex. Everything's on schedule, right, Ken? Yeah, I'm, I'm labored and breathing and I'm sitting in a chair. So that's where we're at. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this small update, and I'm sure gonna update you guys uh, when the nursery is fully finished. If you missed my house tour video so you can see what this room looked like before we painted it, I have that linked in the description as well. Click on it, enjoy it. It's one of my favorite videos I made in 2018, and we got some content coming this week. Super Bowl is today. If you're watching this video on the day it's uploaded, I like to look at the Super Bowl commercials and react to them. Did that video last year. Some of you guys seem to enjoy it, so we'll be doing that again this year and other stuff this week. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye. <laughs> I'm gonna puke.